Hello and welcome to Songs and Stories. Today I would like to sing the song, If I Were a Butterfly. We've done it before, but I've been asked to sing this again using the verses that you wrote last year. Do you remember writing about a shark in the sea and a monkey in a tree and a unicorn with its fine horn? Well, you wrote those verses and we're gonna sing them today. Let's review the actions on the refrain because I can't do them when I'm playing the guitar. So you'll probably remember, for you gave me a heart and you gave me a smile. You gave me Jesus and you made me your child. But I just thank you, Lord, for making me me. Here we go. Hello friends, Lark and I are very happy to be with you today. I have some jokes. Uh, Lark, why shouldn't you tell an Easter egg a joke? Why? Because it might crack up. Knock, knock. Who's there? Somebody. Somebody here. Somebody ate all of my Easter candy. Knock, knock. Who's there? Sheep go. Sheep go. Who? <laughs> <laughs> no, Lark, sheep go, bah. <laughs> Okay, knock, knock. Who's there? Broccoli. Broccoli who? Oh, well, now you're just being silly. Broccoli doesn't have a last name. <laughs> okay, I think I might have saved the best one for last. Um, why should you never fart in church? <laughs> why? Because you'll have to sit in your own pew. What? Do you get it? <gasps> <laughs> the benches that we sit in in the sanctuary are called pews, but it's also like pew. Do you see? Yeah. All right. So maybe that one wasn't the best one for last. Maybe you laughed at home. I don't know. But Lark, I have a question for you. Why do we laugh at jokes when they're funny? Why do they Why do they make us laugh? Because sometimes it's like the person says this. Like, for example, um, knock, knock. Who's there? Um, lettuce. Lettuce who? So basically, it's like you think they're going to say something like about lettuce or whatever. About like the vegetable lettuce? Yeah. Okay. And then um, I say, let us in, it's freezing out here. Oh, and then? And then and then it feels like your mind is like, whoop, wait, this isn't what I'm supposed to, this That's isn't a, what was supposed to happen. Right, your mind goes, whoop, it does a flip, it does a switch. I think that that has a lot to do with the surprise of it, right? We think that the joke is going to mean I? one thing, and then it flips and it means another uh -huh. thing. There's a twist. Sure, you want to tell everybody about yeah. something funny that happened a few years ago? One time in preschool, my teacher, Miss um, Wall, she came, we came into school and she was wearing tiny pretend plastic fingers and then we all thought they were real and we all, and then we, it took us like five seconds to realize, wait, these aren't her fingers. And, what and did then you, we all laughed really, really hard. Oh my gosh, because it was unexpected. It was not what you were thinking you were going to see. And That's right. And I don't know whether or not the other class got really disrupted by it or not. Oh, when they heard your class laughing? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, I bet they did. We were laughing so hard. So that unexpected thing, that little trick that has been played on our brain, a long, long time ago, some people noticed that 
Easter was a little bit like a joke in that way. There was a twist ending. So Jesus being made alive again after he died, that felt like a practical joke being played on death. It's like God throwing us a surprise party. And so part of our Easter joy can be a good laugh of relief that death does not have the last word. God does. All right, here's, here's the last word of our video. Knock, knock. Who's there? Al. Al who? Alleluia. Wait, um. <laughs> Alleluia. Amen. Hi, everybody. Well, thank you, Miss Peggy, for that great song. It's one of my favorites. And thank you, Miss Lindley, for all those funny jokes. You know, it made me think of a couple funny jokes myself. So here's one for you. How much does a pirate charge to do ear piercings? A buccaneer! Now, what's a pirate's favorite letter? I bet you think it's R. But a pirate's true love is the sea. Okay, that's enough of my bad jokes. Now, let's pray. And we're going to do the same prayer that we've been doing the last couple weeks. And I'm going to do all the hand motions. You can do them if you want or skip them if you like. So here we go. Thank you, Jesus, for this day. For friends and family, work and play. Thanks for love that we can share with our neighbors everywhere. Amen. I'll see you guys next week.